Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the different types of conductors used in power systems. We know that all the conductors are made up of aluminum, not copper, because compared to copper, aluminum having so many advantages. Now, if you see the first one is the solid conductors. Actually, solid conductors are not preferred for transmission and distribution. Main reason is rigid nature. That means the conductor is not flexible. So, coiling become very tough and there is a problem in transportation. That is why solid conductors are not preferred in transmission and distribution. And one more problem with the solid conductors is high skin effect. But we use solid conductors for two applications in power systems. Uh, one is earthing and other one is grounding. Earthing and grounding we can use solid conductors, nowhere else. Clear? Next, standard conductors. Yes, instead of using a big conductor, we divide the conductors into small cross section area conductors and we bunch them and we twisted them to form a single conductors. Why we are doing so is to increase the flexibility so that the coiling becomes simple and there is no problem in transportation. Now, if all the strands are made up of aluminum means that is called double AC conductors. So, these double AC conductors are having reduced skin effect and also reduced tensile strength when compared to solid conductors. And also, these conductors are having very good flexibility. So, because of this flexibility, the coiling become very simple and can be used in transmission and distribution. But if you notice this double AC conductors having reduced tensile strength. Now, if you notice the tensile strength of double AC is very less when compared to the tensile strength of equivalent solid conductors for same current carrying capacity. For same current carrying capacity, tensile strength of double AC is very very less when compared to solid. That is why sag is more. So, that is why these conductors are not suitable for longer spans, only suitable for shorter spans. If I say shorter spans, the best thing is we can use it for distribution system, not for transmission system. Okay? So, the double AC conductors are suitable for distribution system, not for transmission system. Double AC means it is a standard conductors with all the strands made up of aluminum material. Now, ACSR conductors. Since double AC conductors are not suitable for transmission system, ACSR conductors are came into picture. Here we are using steel conductors in addition with aluminum conductors. So, few strands made up of steels and the remaining strands made up of aluminum. Number of aluminum strands are more compared to steel strands because the purpose of using steel strands is to increase the tensile strength. So, if you see the tensile strength of this ACSR conductor is obviously greater than double AC conductors. So, because of this improved tensile strength, these ACSR conductors are suitable for longer spans. So, we can use it for transmission system. Right? But what about double AC, uh, triple AC conductors? Triple AC conductors means all aluminum alloy conductors. That means all the strands are made up of aluminum only, but with alloy mixing. Okay? So, there is a magnesium, manganese, or copper, tin, lead, some kind of alloy materials are used to get an uh, equivalent conductor as ACSR conductors. The idea is using this alloy materials, we are improving mechanical as well as electrical properties. That means using this alloy mixing, uh, the tensile strength of triple uh, AC conductors is made equal to the tensile strength of ACSR conductors. But what is the main advantage of triple AC conductors? First of all, if you see the disadvantage, the cost of this triple AC conductors is high when compared to ACSR conductors. But triple AC conductors are having same sometimes strengths as a ACSR conductors. But the main advantage of triple AC conductors is they are lightweight construction. Now, because of this lightweight constructions, these conductors are suitable for both transmission and distribution for special applications, not for all applications, only for special applications. That means, for example, in transmission system, if you want to go for lightweight towers, if you want to use lightweight towers, definitely we need a lightweight conductors. So, lightweight towers, lightweight conductors are required. That means, ACSRs are, ACSR conductors are not suitable. So, double AC conductors are suitable. But where we use lightweight towers, especially hilly areas, in hilly areas, tower erection work is not so simple. That is why uh, we try to make the towers with lightweight steel. So, lightweight towers 
and lightweight conductor is required that's why triple ac conductors are used and in distribution system also we use triple ac conductors where we need uh, longer spans especially railway crossings road crossings river crossings uh, we need uh, uh, longer span lengths there uh, double ac is not suitable acsr is not suitable because of lightweight towers in distribution system acsr is not suitable so that's why better to go for triple ac conductors so that means triple ac conductors are used in distribution system for longer spans triple ac conductors are used in transmission system where lightweight towers are preferred and coming to the halo conductors halo conductors are preferred for only bus bars nowhere it is used halo conductors are also called tubular conductors right now i'm going to summarize solid conductors are not used in transmission and distribution only used for earthing and grounding standard conductors especially double ac conductors used in distribution system acsr conductors used in transmission system triple ac conductors are used for special applications in transmission system with lightweight towers in distribution system with longer spans halo conductors for bus bars thank you